Time flies when you're having a drink, don't you think? It feels like it was just summer and now we're hurtling headfirst into fall. And with fall comes everyone's favorite autumn holiday, Thanksgiving. And with Thanksgiving comes a whole lot of eating and drinking. And maybe a little bit of stress in terms of planning that eating and drinking. But don't fret, my fair wine lovers. Today, I'm gonna to present you with some time-tested Thanksgiving Day wine strategies to help make the most of your Thanksgiving Day dinner. So stick around. Hello, wine lovers. I'm Erin, the founder and chief sommelier here at the Wine Sisters, and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is the place where every week, we show you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. And today, it's all about Thanksgiving. It's only weeks away, and those weeks will go by like that. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some Thanksgiving Day wine strategies. Not the perfect wine for your Thanksgiving Day, not the best wine for your Thanksgiving dinner. It's going to be some strategies that's going to maximize your enjoyment of the actual day. Now, I like to observe something that I call the three friendlies. I've done this for years. I've probably been planning parties professionally for 12 years. Started when I was just a wee tot. And of course, personally as well, I'm always throwing dinner parties. But the three friendlies, I use these for every holiday dinner as well as any other dinner party that I like to throw. Three friendlies are wallet friendly, crowd friendly, and food friendly. And we're gonna cover them all and what I will show you will be our Thanksgiving Day strategies today. Now, first things first, it's so great when people arrive at your house, if you are calm, cool, and collected, and you can greet them with a drink. Now, I'm gonna sip on this one. This is our pumpkin spice old fashioned. You can see how we made that in last week's video. It is absolutely to die for, and definitely one of my friend's favorite and most requested fall drinks. But. I love having a signature cocktail, but if you feel like that is just a bridge too far, it's just pushing you just a little bit beyond the brink of what you can comfortably handle in terms of stress loads for Thanksgiving, then don't do it. Simply go with a gorgeous sparkling wine. I love sparkling wine to kickstart a party. Probably so does everybody else. It just automatically adds an air of festivity to whatever you're doing. And as people come to gather in your house, whether they're sitting in the living room to watch some football, whether they're helping you prep the Thanksgiving Day dinner in your kitchen, whether you're breaking out a game of Scrabble and everybody's laughing and chatting, a great way to ease into the day is to have a beautiful sparkling wine. And that takes care of our crowd friendly. Everybody loves it. Now, if we wanna talk about the food friendly, sparkling wine, and you can see some of our tips for sparkling wine in this video right here, where I talk about the differences between champagne, prosecco, cava, and so on. You can check that out right here. But sparkling wine is one of the most food friendly drinks there is out there. The crisp effervescent bubbles, the sharp acidity, the brightness of those lemony, apple -y flavors, they go with so much. Everything from your shrimp cocktails, to your freshly shucked oysters, to your rich cheese plates, and of course, all of those beautiful past hors d'oeuvres that come around, which are inevitably wrapped in a luscious and buttery puff pastry. Champagne, sparkling wine is your get out of jail free card for everything. And there's an elegance to standing around having a cocktail of a little glass of sparkling wine and a little bite to eat. Now, if we wanna take care of the wallet friendly, which is the third friendly of what I like to observe when I'm hosting a lot of people over for dinner, you don't necessarily have to go for the big guns, right? You don't have to go right to the marquee champagnes. There is plenty of others around, and that includes a cremant. And I love cremants. Now, what does that mean? Cremant means that it's a sparkling wine that's made the same way that champagne is made, the traditional method, but it's made in other regions of France. So this year, I'm gonna be serving a Cremant de Lemieux. Lemieux is an area in the south of France. They do have Chardonnay, but they also have Chenin Blanc as a grape that will go into it. And with this Cremant de Lemieux, it's bright, it's fresh, it's effervescence. In one bottle, I've taken care of all my three friendlies and that will kickstart our party and the appetizer portion of the day. Now, as we move into the dinner portion of the evening, arguably the most important part of Thanksgiving, you wanna have a couple of things to offer, but this is a dinner party, it's not a bar. So don't feel obliged to have to meet everybody's specific requests. And also don't feel like you need to find that one perfect wine to go with everything on the table. Again, we go back to those three friendlies. I can't repeat it enough. And in this particular case, I'm offering one white, 
and one red, because inevitably there's going to be some people at your table who will only ever want to drink white. There's going to be some people at your table who will only ever want to drink red. And of course, you're going to get the luscious like me and my family who will mix and mingle and see how, it, how everything works with the food. This year, I'm going to go with a Chardonnay. It's a fairly popular pick for Thanksgiving. I think most people would agree with that. But in my case, I'm going with a cooler climate Chardonnay. If you want to know the difference between cool climate and warm climate wines, you can click this video right here. But with the cool climate Chardonnay, this one comes from the Alto Adige. This is in the northern region of Italy. You're getting closer into the mountains. And so this is going to be a really streamlined, bright, fresh, crisp, really nice and clean Chardonnay that's going to give you a little bit of that mouth-watering effect. So it's going to mop up all of those delicious, fatty, buttery substances on your table. The gravies, the buttery mashed potatoes. This is going to mop all of that up and freshen your palate and get you ready for the next bite. Not to mention that the white wine itself goes brilliantly with turkey, or if you happen to be having ham, it goes really lovely with that as well. And for the red lovers in my group, a lot of the time you'll wanna go with a red wine that has lower tannin. So tannins, of course, are those things that make it feel like you've cotton balls in your mouth, but you wanna have a little bit of brighter acidity. So acidity, of course, mimics that feeling as if you just sucked on a lemon. It gives you all that beautiful mouth-watering effect. So I'm going this year with a Gamay. This is specifically from Beaujolais. It's a Beaujolais Cru. It's Fleury. This one will have, again, what I was looking for, those lower tannins, that brighter acidity, and lots of flavors of that bright, tangy, fresh, buried fruit. You're gonna find notes of cranberry and pomegranate and cherry in there, but you're also gonna find some beautiful spicy notes that go along the realms of freshly cracked black pepper and even some earthy elements that sort of mimic that notes of the woodsy foresty area and that's going to be absolutely brilliant so these are my thanksgiving day wine strategies these are the wines that i will use over the course of the day and next week make sure you tune in because i'm going to be going through some tips on how to pull off a great thanksgiving dinner party with panache but you can click that link below which will take you to the blog which will go through things like how much you should buy uh, when you should buy but i will leave you with this parting thought Thanksgiving is now about three weeks away. Go to the store now, get a case of everything. Trust me, you are definitely gonna use it over the next few months of this holiday season because you do not wanna be at the store last minute when the line snakes out the door and around the corner and you're left picking over the dregs. That's just super stressful and not at all helpful. Get to the store now, get your wine, store it away in a closet somewhere. You'll definitely go through it, I promise you. Let me know what you guys are having for Thanksgiving. I'd love to see what you're eating, what you're drinking, and if you have any questions, leave those below and I'll make sure to get back to you as well. And while you're there, please share this video with all of your wine-loving friends. We love to share the good word of wine and how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. So make sure you join us here next week because we will be going through more Thanksgiving Day strategies to help you pull off your Thanksgiving Day dinner with panache. Until then, friends, I'm Erin from the Wine Sisters. Stay well, drink better. Sante. Itchy, itchy, itchy.